Hey everybody, I am happy to announce version 2.0 of the Immersive Template. This asset allows player interaction with objects in the world, such as picking up, putting down, and more. First, I'll highlight the locomotion. You can alternate between walking and jogging with the shift key. Q allows you to sprint. C will perform a dodge roll. You can also crouch with control, crawl with alt, and it comes with overhead checking so you won't uncrouch into obstacles. You can also mantle low and high obstacles if you're jumping or falling towards them. The animations were made using the UE4 mannequin and I just retargeted them. So if they look a little funny, that's why. You can customize the locomotion settings within the character's blueprint and clicking on the dialogue movement component. Next are the interactables. You can go up to any of these objects and press the E key to pick them up put them down, or interact with them more by pressing the one key. The character will play a high, mid, or low animation based on the object or put down location height. They are all children of the base object class and can be customized extensively. If you're integrating, you just need to add a hold underscore two socket to your character's right hand for the two-handed animations. You can also release objects anywhere by pressing the 2 key and the 3 key hides and shows the HUD. The locations will highlight blue when the player is holding an object and can place it down. It'll turn red if an object is already placed there and gold if you designate it as a specific location. You can also rotate the locations and the object will be placed respectively. If an object is set to simulate physics when you put it down, the location won't register it as a placed object. So you can continue stacking them until you place one that doesn't simulate physics. There are also three chairs the player can sit in and a door that checks if the player has the required card count. And there's a puzzle example of how you would use this all in a game. You can easily debug the traces with the various drop downs to see the distance of the interaction and locomotion traces. The first version of my footstep sound component is here as well, but it's going to be converted to the component hopefully by the next update. So I haven't set up all the footstep sounds yet and I wouldn't spend too much time on learning this since I'll be changing it very soon. Lastly, I've replicated everything to the best of my abilities. I'm not a multiplayer expert, so there are a few bugs that I just haven't figured out how to fix yet. I've detailed them in the documentation, but we'll make a video covering them. So the issues are only present in the multiplayer version. Single player works just fine. If anyone has questions, please feel free to hit me up in the Discord, through email, or here on this video. That's all I got for you. Thank you for checking this out. I'll see you all later. Bye.